MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball brings us to the great state of Florida and Marlins Park in Miami. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the San Francisco Giants and the Miami Marlins. A big-time arm and a power bat should be fun. First pitch is next. Wei-Yin Chen gets the ball for Miami in this one. What's your take on him, E.K.? Well, Matty, he, he's looking to knock down that ERA. You see there, he's into the fours, looking to have a little better start than what he's been accustomed to. Joe Panic strides forward, and we are set for baseball here Leon this evening. For San Francisco, second baseman, number 12. Underway here in the Monday opener as the game's first pitch misses for bowl one. This Marlin ball club, Eric Karros, as they begin play here tonight, they enter this one off a loss after winning five of seven prior to that. And this is a battle of two first place clubs here. Maybe even a couple of clubs that might meet again come October. Who knows? This is going to be a good one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Starting to cool down a bit, but still 84 degrees as we start play tonight. Down the line, but this is a foul ball. Liner towards second and a base hit so the leadoff man is aboard to open up the ball game. Well a line shot into right to start things out. Now you have to worry about whether he'll be on the move or not. Standing in now Matt Duffy. And a ball 1 0. He'll start this one at 274. 14 homers to go along with 52 RBIs. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Stanton has it in his sights. One down. And a look now at Bruce Bochy's lineup card for the Giants. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Steve? Well, they know they're playing on a team that has a great team ERA, so just a couple of runs could be enough for them to get victories. Buster Posey will dig in for the first time now. He's got that average up nearing the 340 mark to begin playing. Well, I don't think this should be a surprise to anybody. Most people know he's one of the best hitters in baseball. Fastball too high to start him out here 1 and 0 and set up behind the plate is Joe McDonald as you see the rest of our umpiring crew in this one. Well McDonald just like most other umpires he'll miss a couple here and there but his strike zone never seems to be too outrageous. Drilled right back up the middle and that's through for a hit. Oh my goodness, this guy is really starting to heat up now. That's eight straight games with a base hit. He's been fun to watch. Brandon Crawford will dig in now, and he's come through in many a situation like this, currently fourth in the National League RBI race. Well, when you look at him right now, he's right in the prime of his career, and clearly that's resulting in big things for him. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. And you know, all you have to do is point back to yesterday's ball game. This was part of their downfall, hitting with runners in scoring position. They just couldn't sustain any kind of offense. So this would be a big boost if he could turn the tide a little bit here and come through big. 
And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Boy, he better get it back together here with two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. Chen sets. Here it is. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. That's going to even up the count at two and two. Two and two count. Here it comes. And Crawford swings and misses at that one. A strikeout victim for out number two. And with that, let's give you a look at the Miami D. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric, what do we need to know? Well, Matty, when you're talking about watching somebody throw a ball across the diamond, this guy throws it like a laser. Over at third base, doesn't have the great range, but if he gets his hands on it, oh my, can he throw it. Brandon Belt will stand in, and you can see that surprisingly he hits better versus left-handed pitching than he does against righties. Yeah. Oh, wild pitch, but the catcher is able to knock it down. And he'll make it to third here on what will likely be ruled a passed ball in tight with the slider that time and that thing looked like it had a little more movement than some of the other pitches he's thrown so far and that's going to go into the books as a pass ball second and third two away oh, and it's quickly 0 and 2 Trying to escape unscathed here in the first. And he won't offer it that too high. One and two. All right, so he sort of wasted one up right there. Now I think we'll see a breaking ball down in the zone trying to get him to swing and miss. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Here's the one and two delivery. And another foul ball. And a fastball. Mm, tough take there, but it's even back at two and two. And this is where he gets so tough. He's seen everything you've got, but you've still got to make one more good pitch to get him out. Here's the pitch on two and two. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Set to deal on two and two. Full count, three and two. Now, he does have first base open, so he doesn't have to come in right here. He can try to make that perfect pitch, and you know what? If he misses, who cares? Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. It's on to the bottom of the first. No score on the show. Johnny Cueto gets the start for San Francisco in this one. EK, what's the word on him? Well, Maddie, he's got a pretty good strikeout to walk ratio. Three to one. We'll see if that holds true in this one. D. Gordon comes to the plate to lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading off for the Marlins. Second baseman, D. Gordon. 
And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. E.K., you look at the Giants as they begin play here tonight. They come in trying to bounce back from a loss last time out, but they've been in good form lately, 5-2 and two over their last seven. And I think it's just going to be a matter of putting yesterday behind you. It wasn't their finest performance of the year, that's for sure, but they're capable of playing much better ball, and I think we'll see a sharper focus here on this one. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And, oh, look out as the cutter ran way in and just about drilled him. I think he took a little exception to that location. Yeah, and so would I if I was down there. If you want to work inside, that's fine. But once you get up over the letters and closer to my head, now we're talking about a different story. Served out to left off the end of the bat. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Well, you talk about being locked in at the plate right now. That is 10 straight games with a base hit now. And it's going to be a lot of fun to see how long he can keep this thing going. Quetcher will go to first no, and a dive, but he's back in there. Just checking. In is Christian Yelich as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Looks like he employed the slide step on that last pitch. Well, Matt, the pitcher may have thought the runner might be on the move right there, so he slide steps to hang on to him. Now a move over to first, and the runner will get back standing. Nobody out, runner on first. Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first out. Time now for a glance at the Marlins lineup card in this one. What's the key to sending fans home smiling tonight, Steve? Well, you know, they rely so heavily on stringing hits together. They haven't had a lot of extra base hit power. They need more of that if they're going to be successful on a daily basis. John Jaso will step forward now. Currently third in the National League batting race to begin playing. Yeah, and he leads his ball club in hitting. So he's a guy that they really look to offensively. Here comes the first pitch. Now a fastball to start things out. Didn't miss by a lot, but it's 1-0. And you figure now this would be a spot where that man might try to take second base. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to hold the ball a little longer out there on the mound. Really bury your times to the plate. You can't be predictable out there, or he'll take advantage. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. That's wide, 2-0. And you wonder if he's feeling just a little bit distracted having that base stealer over there at first base. Sometimes just the threat of a steal can really mess with your head out there. Two and zero count and the pitch. He's running toward second. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. On the move again from first. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. And this is one of those guys that can certainly be an X factor in this series. He sets a tone early here with a first inning steal of second base. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Now that we have a chance, let's take a look at the defense for the San Francisco Giants. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric? Well, Matty, Brandon Crawford continues to get better and better each year. Won the gold glove at shortstop in 2015. Really just continuing his improvement from his days at UCLA. And also, he's got some of the best hair in all the game. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in here with a chance to pad his RBI total. And as you can see, he currently sits third in the National League in that category. Well, you know, big-time power threats like him tend to rack up those RBIs. He's also way up there on the home runs leaderboard. 
First pitch is a cutter looked at 0 and 1. Late one ball, one strike. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. On the ground to third. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Marlins leave one. After one, no score. Kyle Blanks will stand in now. 0 for 4 in that day game yesterday. Well, that was a rough one yesterday, but he's still hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. Oh, and he just blows the fastball by him for strike one. And like most right-handed power guys, he's a good high ball hitter, so... So that's where you're going to want to keep that fastball going forward. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. And that's the right spot for that slider. Really try hard to tie him up inside. And that's a good job to lay off, too. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. And I think that's just something you have to understand with an umpire like this. If it's at the knees, it's a strike. I mean, he'll be consistent with that call night, so you just need to adjust up there. Chen into the windup. Here's the one and two. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Yeah, not a real good job of pitch recognition there. I mean, this ball was going to be in on his hands to begin with. I don't know quite what he saw that made him want to swing at that thing, but it just completely locked him up there. Jarrett Parker will stand in, and perhaps unsurprisingly, the numbers tell us he's a much better hitter versus right-handers than he is against lefties. Into the windup and the pitch. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. A lot of late movement on that fastball. That nearly came back to the outer edge. No score here as we play inning number two. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Right now, they'd be lucky to just put one in play. Fly ball out toward left center field. Yelich is after it, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Batting eight, center fielder number seven, 
Gregor, Gregor Blanco, Blanco steps in hoping to get things going at the plate. You can see it's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. First pitch of the at bat. Nope. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. One out and a runner on second base. Not close, it's two and oh. Ready with the two oh pitch. A strike and it's two and one. Right back inside with a fastball. This time he got the call. Set to deliver on two and one. Unable to get the bat around in time and the count evens at two and two. A little bouncer. But that one rolls foul. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time. And there are two away. As you can see right here, his timing just seems to be off a little bit at the plate right now. And you know what? That can happen during the course of the season. You're not always going to have your good swing. And he's the kind of guy that's got a lot of moving parts in that swing. So maybe he's at the point now in the season where he might need just a little time off so he can get back to the basics. Stepping in now, Johnny Cueto, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. One strike pitch is a fastball high, and that evens things at one. Uh, that's not a sight you want to see this early as a starting pitcher. 40 pitches already. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Change up just off the black, and it's 2 and 1. This guy is almost no threat up at the plate. I mean, you could get away with fastballs right down the middle if you wanted to. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Hit hard back up the middle. That's in there. Base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Helping his own cause right okay. there. And no need to Second wait for the one. RBI guys to drive Joe him in. He Man. says, you know what? I can be an RBI guy too. That's a great at bat right there. And that drives in a run. Joe Panic. Steps in to try and keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. And that's a nice job right there to drive in the run by the last guy. And it can definitely fire up a team when someone comes through big time with two outs. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Pitch is piling up 44 and he's not clear of the second yet. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. A oh, classic strikeout pitch there on 0 and 2. It's one he loves going to, but great recognition there at the plate to lay off. Ready on one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. You know, I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that change up away?
All even at two and two. Here it is. A swinging bunt to the mound. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Two hits for the Giants lead to a run in the inning. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Giants one and the Marlins nothing. Jonathan Lucroy will stand in and you see what he's done over the past four games as hot as they come. Jonathan Lucroy. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Cut ball fastball inside. inside. Ball one. Inside. That's inside. inside. Two and zero. Oh. This is a guy whose numbers are on the rise, and this is a big reason why. Two close pitches, two good takes, and now he's in a great hitter's count. Two and zero. Oh. Look out. All over the place now. 3 and 0. Oh. The very least he certainly established the inside part of the plate. Yeah, but it's not going to do him a whole lot of good if none of those can find the strike zone. That's in there. 3 and 1. Well, that one's at 94, so the velocity's good right now. Hit out of play, and it's a full count now. Hard hit ball to second. And a rather easy first out. Batting six, third baseman, Martin. Martin Prado will stride in now. Back in the lineup after being limited to pinch hit duties in yesterday's ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. The Giants have struck first here. They lead it 1 0 as we play the second. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Backhanded. Throw gets him. Two down. Batting seven. Left fielder, Cole Gillespie. Cole Gillespie will come forward now. Back in the lineup here after getting yesterday afternoon off. First pitch on its way. Grounded to short. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Miami down in order. They still trail 1-0. Matt Duffy is into the box as we are all set to Giants. begin the third. Third baseman, number five, Matt, Matt Duffy. Duffy. Chen's ready. Here's the first pitch. Fastball in there for a called strike. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. Down the line, but this is a foul ball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Lifted in the air to right field. Stanton has it in his tracks and that's the first out of the inning. The catcher number 28 Buster Posey. In now Buster Posey he singled his last time up and I think we mentioned it already but that extended his hitting streak swinging a hot bat right now. First offering on its way. 
Now a swing and a fly ball. Gillespie giving chase. And this will fall, but it's a foul ball. The windup and the 0 1. And a good job to lay off the fastball. They're close, but it's 1 and 1. Down the third baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. One and two. Here it comes. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. What's the call here? I still don't think I throw him a strike. There's a good chance that he's going to be chasing something, expand the zone, so you make him show you that he can hold back. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And stepping in, the slick fielding shortstop, Brandon Crawford. And he lays off there, 1-0. and oh. You got to figure that that man right there would be more than happy to see this guy at the plate taking his swings with two out and nobody on all night long. <laughs> so would the guy on the mound. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. This yeah. one's a strike. It's 1 and 1. Yep. one, and one. Smoke on the ground up the middle. That's through for a base hit, and he's 1 for 2 now. Yeah, he hit a good pitch there. This thing's toward the outside part of the plate, but he stays with it all the way. Uses the big part of the field and gets himself a base hit. Here's the first baseman, Brandon Belt, as he'll take a look at ball one. Well, we've mentioned it already, but look at the pitch count here in the third inning. He's almost completely out of gas already. Swing and a miss, one and one. Two out with the man at first. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Oh, nothing fancy. Three fastballs so far in this at bat. He could go just about anywhere from here. Hit out towards second. Right to Gordon. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Giants leave one, but they're up one to nothing. Munanori Kawasaki digs into the box Leading in the bottom of inning number three. The shortstop, Munanori Kawasaki. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And the 34 year old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0 and 1. Now a change up in on the hands that evens it at 1 and 1. Chop foul right at home plate. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Well, being a number eight hitter in the National League is, is really one of the toughest positions a guy can be in. You know, you've got your pitcher behind you on deck, so guys don't feel like they need to challenge you. 
you've got to be very disciplined up there. And that time, he just wasn't. Into the box now, Wei in Chen. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. I tell you, he's got a good pace, a good tempo to him out there right now. Good cut fastball that time, and he's in control now, 0 and 2. Bases are empty, one man out. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. So back-to-back -back strikeouts for him here to start the inning. And you see there on the lower part of your screen, his total places him third best on this giant ball club. Well, he gets his strikeouts like he did right there, but doesn't fully rely on them to get guys out. He'll pitch to contact, hoping to get outs on ground balls and fly balls. D. Gordon. We'll stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. Aye. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Wow, he is spotting that fastball on a dime here early on. Trying to bunt here, but this winds up hitting him. And they're going to say that he went after it. A strange strike, too. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. Here we go on an 0-2 count. All you have to do is start that thing right down the middle of the plate and then just let it work its way in. Hopefully get a swing through or maybe even a shattered bat. Ready to deliver the one and two. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. Oh, that's not a bad idea right there. Go ahead and try that back foot slider on a one and two. Hope you can get him to commit. That's a good job of laying off of that pitch. Three and two now. So many times pitchers will get ahead and they'll start to mess around. And the next thing you know, it's a full count like it is here. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Good battle. Count remains full. And he looks at ball four now. So he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on base. And I may not know a whole lot about pitching, but what I do know is this is not the guy you want to be putting on base with a walk. That definitely puts the stolen base in order now with two away. Christian Yelich will dig in now, hoping to perhaps make him pay for the two-out walk. Yeah, nothing going on earlier in this inning, but a chance to make some noise right here. Those kind of walks often seem to come back and fight guys somehow. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Now, after that first pitch pitch out, another ball here really puts you in the hole against a dangerous hitter. Here's the 2 0. Too high, and it's 3 0. Is he worrying too much about that guy on first? I, I think he might be. The guys worry so much about the stolen base. But they don't realize that a walk is 10 times worse. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Not turned loose there. I thought that he might be swinging with two away, but apparently not. Throw over to the bag, and he is tagged out here. Boy, a bad mistake that time as he's picked off to end the inning. Nothing across here this half. Three innings complete. 
Giants on top, one to nothing. Kyle Blanks is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. The Giants, left fielder, Kyle Blanks. Chen gets the sign. Here comes the first pitch. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1 0. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2 0. And he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here 2 0. Grounded to third. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. The right fielder number 48. Jarrett Parker. Jarrett Parker strides in here. He scored a run after doubling to get on base in his first at bat. Boy he had a great at bat last time up and he'll look for another pitch he can drive right here. Hit hard up the middle and that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. So far, he's throwing a lot of fastballs here early in the count. And these guys have picked up on that, so they're just going up there looking for the hard stuff, and they've been all over him. Now we'll snap one off over to the bag. Just keeping him close. Keeping an eye on him. Here's the lefty Gregor Blanco now as the first pitch misses to ball him one, it's ball no one. One run six hits and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Downstairs two balls and no strikes. Well, this is a guy up there that's not hitting a ton right now but he can still work the count. And that alone can be beneficial to an offense. Now a snap throw to first. No, Runner is back. Simple throw over there. Two and zero oh count. Here it comes. Three and zero oh now. And he's got a little bit of work to do now to avoid that first walk. A strike and it's three and one. And at the plate, he might have been told, look, you're taken until you get a strike. Not a bad idea. Runner at first here, one man out. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. Johnny Cueto get a shot now in an RBI spot so a chance to help his own cause here and he's got a hit in the game already so he can handle the bat at least a little bit Here's the first pitch to him. And they do have him bunting with one away as he puts this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. And with one out already, I think they were concerned of the possibility of a double play. So they're going to let the pitcher go ahead and put one down right here. Now at least you give your leadoff guy a chance to drive in a couple runs with two outs. Joe Panic. We'll dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. Yeah, putting the ball in play. Sometimes that's half the battle. First delivery to him on the way. 
And now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. But one thing he's shown so far, he's not afraid to work inside. Yeah, with that base open right now, he shouldn't have to be afraid. If you do hit him, big deal. Get the next guy. Here it comes, 1-0. Drilled to first. Jasso scoops it up, and the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Giants leave a couple, but they're on top one to nothing. Christian Yelich is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. And right here is an important time for them to climb back into this one. They definitely want to even this one up sooner rather than later. And that misses for ball one. it up one and one from the windup the one one pitch two and one good time to call the change as he swings and misses for strike two and this is exactly what he does so well. He'll make you so convinced that you're going to see a fastball, and then he's going to go the other way on you. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Oh, I think he'd be real happy with a leadoff walk. Something just to get things started against this guy. Boy, and good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. And I'll tell you what, he's throwing with a lot of confidence right now. And he's also taking some chances with location. But you know, he's thinking he's bulletproof out there, and so far he has been. And now to the plate, John Jason. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Well, at the very least, he went down hacking. Striking out is one of the many frustrations that go along with hitting, and you have to accept that it's going to happen sometimes. And he takes ball one. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. One out, nobody on. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line and left. And that'll get down for a base hit. As we look at that again, you know, this is not a bad pitch by any stretch. If he throws this pitch ten times, I bet he gets him out nine of them. But here you just have to tip your cap to the guy at the plate. Giancarlo Stanton now, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. One and one. Just overmatched him there. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Runners on first with one down. short hit hard a bare hand for one on to belt and they turn the double play that ends the inning nothing doing for the Marlins they trail this one one to nothing Matt Duffy will stand in for the third time now. Still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball.
Chen's got his target. First pitch on the way. Swing and a ball hit high in the air, deep down the left field line. This has plenty of carry, and he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. Buster Posey will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. And you know, I think he's had a good approach in each of his first two at-bats. He seems to be seeing the ball well and putting some decent swings on it. First pitch coming, here it is. First pitch has him dancing to avoid it. It's ball one. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, one and one. And after you move a guy off the plate and you know he's all worked up, that's a perfect time to drop a curveball or a changeup on him. Great pitch call right there. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And this is handled easily, so quickly two are gone here to start the fifth. Up next for the Giants. Brandon Crawford will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time and then a base hit last time around. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he pours this one in at the letters, 0 and 1. And 1 and 1 as this one's in on the hands. Here's the 1 and 1 pitch. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Very patient here to start the at-bat. Maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. The one and two pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Giants are down one, two, three. They lead it one to nothing. Jonathan Lucroy will stand in to start things out here in the home half of the fifth. Leading and you get the Marlins. sense, Steve, that this crowd's been pretty well taken out of the ball game to this point. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot to get excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Ball Off the plate and in. Hits a ball and a strike. Way outside. Nearly to the backstop. Two and one. Well, one thing we've seen from this guy on the mound so far, when he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can be crushed. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Swing and a high pop up back onto the outfield grass now. Under it now is Crawford and Brandon's got it for the first down. Third baseman. And, and this is right where they wanted this thing. You see it on show track there. They wanted to take him up around the letters hoping for the pop up and that's exactly what they got. Martin Prado now. Grounder down the line at third. Played on the backhand. Throw on to first, two gone. Up next for the Marlins. Left fielder. Cole Gillespie stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. Out in front of it, strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. On the ground to the right side. 
Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Marlins. It remains one nothing. Back alongside Eric Karros and Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian, as it'll be Brandon Belt getting ready to lead things off here for San Francisco. And now the Marlins bullpen will swing into action as a lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Yelich is in his tracks now. One pitch, one away. Now batting, left fielder, Kyle Blanks. Kyle Blanks will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. Now the pitch. Ball one. Up and in there with the first pitch fastball, it's ball one. Well, for that man right there, only the one run allowed. How discouraging is that when you're pitching your heart out and you're just not getting the support? Well, the good pitchers really don't let it get to them. They know that it cuts both ways. Sometimes you give up five runs Football. and your guys score no, you right. eight. You just have to focus on holding up your end of the bargain. Called a strike on the inside part of the plate, two and one. Yeah, you know, he probably got the fastball he was looking for, but on two and oh, you can look for one pitch in one spot. And if it's not in that spot, you take it. Ready to deal. Here's the two one. And a big swing and a miss here, two strikes. Outside and a full count three and two. Keep in mind now, the longer this at bat goes, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning out there. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Trying to strike him out for the second time. Again, he sends it out of play. Another one sent foul. Change up too low. He walked him. That's an easy take right there on the 3-2 the pitch. Not all that inviting at all. Jerry you want to at least Parker. make the guy think about hacking up there. Instead, now he's on with one away. Jarrett Parker digs in, coming off a single in his last at-bat. From the belt kicks and deals and he got him out in front that time strike one EK the starter creeping up on a hundred pitches now but that number alone doesn't appear to be affecting him too much at all yeah he still looks sharp still with the way that teams handle pitchers nowadays I don't think it'll wind up going much further oh got him to swing out of his shoes on that one nothing in two now he's probably lucky he didn't make contact on that one. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. One run, six hits, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on one and two. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one-two. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. 
But just an excellent sequence on the mound that time, and we're going to run you right back through it right here on show track. Now you're going to notice as the dots come up, the trend, pretty evident. Everything's going to be down around the knees or lower. Now the more you can stay out of any guy's wheelhouse, the better off you're going to be, and it worked perfectly right here. Here's the lefty, Gregor Blanco now. Hit hard up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. This is what you call an ambush swing right here. You're hitting in the back of the order. You're looking dead red early in the count. Kind of just hoping the pitcher might relax and forget about you for a minute. Then you get that fastball middle in, and you jump all over it. Into the box, Johnny Cueto. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. And this is the thing that's so impressive about this guy. He'll show you that good breaking ball, but then he'll run that fastball up the ladder at 92, 93. Looking to keep this a one-run game. Oh, had a hanger that time, but missed it. One and two. High strikes, probably not on the docket for places he wants to be. Yeah, I mean, it's no secret. You've got to keep the ball down against a team like this. If you go up. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. And a relay home is in time. And he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. Oh. Giants leave a couple, but they lead it one to nothing. Munanori Kawasaki will come forward now to start out their half of the sixth, and they've found it rough sailing against this starter so far as he's yielded just two hits through the first five. Not too many hard hit balls there either. He's had them off balance all game. Now some action out in the Giants' bullpen as they'll have both the left-hander and the right-hander get loose. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Blanco has a beat on it. One out. The pitcher number 54. Chris Johnson will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 12. Chris Johnson. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. Boy, <laughs> that's some movement out there on the mound. You see that as a righty. He'll naturally fall off a bit to the first base side of the mound, and he just uses that momentum to field this thing on the run and do it all himself. Here's D. Gordon now. As he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. And that has been the comfort zone so far in this outing. He's just lived on that outside corner, and it's paid big dividends for him. Mm, really dotting the corners here with the fastball. 0-2. Oh a strike away now from getting through six shutout innings here, and that's no small feat against this lineup. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Miami down in order. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Welcome back to South Florida. Giants leading this one as we get set for the seventh, but before it gets underway, there you see our game summary through the first six innings of play. Jeremy Jeffress is on to pitch now as he'll take over to start inning number seven. Jeremy Jeffress. J. 
Joe Panic will stand in here to start the seventh in a game that's been sailing along to this point. Yeah, good thing we don't get paid by the hour, man. This game has flown by. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing in one. Yeah, nice to get that call right out of the bullpen. And here's a ball hit in the air. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Now batting, third baseman, Matt Duffy. Matt Duffy will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Now here's the pitch. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. You know, a lot of times with a sinker baller out there, you're just conditioned to always look for something down. So he can surprise you with that high fastball, maybe four-seam it every once in a while, and when he does, he can forget it. Outside, two and one. All even now, two and two. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Under it is Yelich, and there are two away now. The catcher number 28, Buster Posey. Buster Posey gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. Here it comes. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. Just missing here, 2 0. You still come after him now on 2 0? I think you have to be a little careful, but yeah, I don't think you can just give up on him. From the windup, the 2 0 pitch. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. And that questionable call on the previous pitch, it really changes the at-bat because he doesn't want to just lay one in there on two and O. Oh. Now it's three and O, oh and the tide is not working in his favor. And that misses for ball four. And once he got to two and O, oh, I think he started peeking over at that on-deck circle because it was pretty clear that he didn't want any part of this guy. Brandon Crawford will dig in now, hoping to perhaps make him pay for the two-out walk. He's set. Here it comes. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Yelich is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. And one left for San Francisco, for the but they're up one to nothing. Christian Yelich will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. Well, we've been talking about it a lot, but this offense is just getting shut down right now. We've seen some really fantastic pitching in this one. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and That'll be a souvenir, and the count will move to 1-1. One and one. Right there at the belt, one and two now. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And I think that's what they were trying to set him up for, going with that changeup down in the zone on a one and two count. Very difficult to react to, but he did a great job of holding back. 
Cueto sets his sights. 2 2 on its way. Swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. Blanco over to his right. He's got it one away. Now battle. First baseman. Sean. John Jason steps in, working on a one for two game so far. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Yeah, he started to go up the ladder there, but then he realized in time that he wasn't going to get there. Bases are empty, one man out. Hard hit ball to second, fielded by Panic. In time to first, and there are two away. The right fielder, number 27, Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in again. A couple of ground outs for him on the ledger in his two trips so far. Yeah, just sort of rolling over on it, guys. See if he can make a small adjustment and get through one here. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. You have to say, they've really had a good game plan for attacking the 3-4-5 hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Chopped foul at the plate and he stays alive, still 0-2. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0 2. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Blanco is in pursuit, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grab. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Catcher number 20, Jonathan. Wow. And how he managed with that swing to wind up with a double is beyond me. Hey, that's baseball. Now here comes Bruce Bochy out of the Giants dugout on his way to the mound. And that'll signal the end for Johnny Cueto. So as he departs he can't lose this ball game but he is responsible for the runner at second meaning it'd be a no decision if that run comes across to score. Sergio Romo now is on his way the into the ball game now as he'll Number be making 54. his 50th appearance Sergio of the year. Romo. Jonathan Lucroy will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, and it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. one and it looks now like a right handers getting hot in the Giants bullpen and this one's tapped foul at home plate trying to hold the lead foul right at the plate the count moves now to one and two Hit hard but foul to the left and they'll try it again. Looking to keep the shutout intact. Here it comes. And the fastball easy to lay off that time. Two and two.
Hot shot to third. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. But not in time. And just like that, this ball game is tied. Well, it looked like this inning was just about in the books, but then you get the two-out double to put the man in scoring position. Next hitter follows that up with a base hit here and makes something out of the inning after all. Martin Prado now, as he'll take strike one on the inside corner. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. And he falls behind 0-2. job of holding up on the low ball there and it's one and two all right now you've just seen two straight breaking pitches miss away so as a hitter you're going to eliminate that pitch no way does he throw it a third time from the belt the pitch to two balls and two strikes now Shot down the first baseline. He dives, but he can't pull it in, and it's down the line into right. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Well, for a relief pitcher, he hasn't given him a whole lot of relief. That's back-to-back -back singles now since he showed up, and he's in a heck of trouble now. Cole Gillespie gets a shot now with two men on and two away here in inning number seven. And we'll see here if he can come through. It can be discouraging to see opportunities like this late in a ball game go untapped. Hoping to keep it tied, here it comes. And this pitch is hit rather sharply toward the third base coaching box. It's a foul ball. Oh, and one count and the pitch off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. And this is all about having faith in your catcher that he's going to block that pitch as well. He should. He's one of the best around when it comes to smothering balls in the dirt. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Yeah, a good job here of working himself back into a hitter's count, especially with two men on base in front of him. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. This is where you got to use that count to your advantage. You can eliminate half the strike zone and say, Look, I'm only swinging if it's right where I want it. Runners at the corners, two men out. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Well, we knew he had to work carefully with the runner in scoring position, but I don't think a walk was what he had in mind. It's going to make things just a little trickier now with the bases loaded. Your attention, please. Now so with a lefty the waiting, they'll go to a lefty of their own out of the bullpen here. Munanori Kawasaki will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. Fastball from Lopez, it's strike one. 
tough spot here for a left-handed hitter facing a guy that's exceptionally tough on lefties. Yeah, you generally get so many at-bats against right-handed pitching. Now you're in a good RBI spot, and you're stuck facing a guy like this. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Well, he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. Well, he's still got to make one more big pitch, but this is a great start with the bases loaded. Swing and a little tapper. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Can't quite get the low outside corner there. It's one and two. Bases are loaded here, two down. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. He got him and exhale as he's out of the jam and the inning is over. But the tying run comes across here so it looks like this could be a wire job. Eighth inning coming up all tied at one and one. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Brad Hand will be summoned from the bullpen now as he'll take over to start inning number eight. And batting in the seventh spot. Number 52. Brad Hand. Now playing left field and batting in the ninth. Brandon Belt will stand in, and it's a bullpen game now. Both starters out as we begin inning number eight. Yeah, both starters are out, and since we're tied, both starters not going to be involved in the decision. Belt. Pulls the string on that one. One strike. Hey. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in their knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count, 0-2. Too low with a fastball there. One ball, two strikes. On 0 and 2, if that's a curveball, a, a changeup, a sinker, then maybe you get a guy to chase. But it's much easier to lay off a pitch down there when it's a straight fastball. That misses, and we're even at 2 and 2. And oh, look out! Up and in, and nearly took his head off. He will definitely give you something to think about up there. <laughs> there are no comfortable at bats against this guy. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Up next for the Giants, left fielder, Kyle Blanks. Kyle Blanks stands in, reached on a walk in his last trip. There's a first pitch curveball trying to come back to the outside corner. Didn't get it that time. It's ball one. Two and oh now. <laughs> he wanted to go after that one, but that's a good eye to just watch it all the way in. Here comes the 2 0 pitch. Nope. Three and oh. Pitching him pretty careful here, wouldn't you say? Well, it's possible to be too careful. I mean, this is not a Silver Slugger award winner up there. You want this guy to hit the ball and put it in play. Hey. 
straight. That one's in there, three and one. And he takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. And he's having a rough go of it so far. His second strikeout of the ball game. You can see him gesturing that he thinks that pitch was outside, but you know, I think once he gets a look at it in the clubhouse, he'll probably change his tune. Kelby Tomlinson will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Tomlinson. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Bases are empty here with two men out. Scorched to third. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Giants down in order, still tied one apiece. Kelby Tomlinson will stick around as he'll take over in right field. Now playing right field, number 37, Kelby Tomlinson. Ichiro Suzuki will stand in now as he'll be getting his first plate appearance in this one here in the eighth. Left fielder, Ichiro. Drops one down here and he'll try to beat it out. Throw is not in time, and a great job of legging that out as now the go-ahead run is on base to lead off the inning. That may have been one of those situations where you wonder, he's not going to be able to throw him out at first. Maybe that's one where you try and see if that would have gone foul. D. Gordon, ready to take another shot, went down on strikes his last time up. Yeah, and he went down in flames, too. Got him on just three pitches. From the stretch, here's the pitch. In the dirt here, but fortunately here, no advance. And that's in there for his strike one and one. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. And that misses two and one. Swing hard liner to left center. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Throw will hold him at second, but the go ahead runs in scoring position now with still nobody out. There you go. Back to back singles here to open up the inning, have him set up in a good position to break this deadline. And now Boach is going to make his way out toward home plate, and it looks like we'll see a double switch here. George Contos will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Denard Spann will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number two, Denard Spann. Christian Yelich will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Ichiro off second, the pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And this is a critical point right here. Things are in danger of getting away from it, so you got to suck it up. First and second here with nobody out. Yeah. 
Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? On to first, so he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play. Oh, man, first and second, nobody out in a tie ball game. This is a huge double play. He does move the go-ahead runner up to third base, but it comes at a very big cost as they're now just an out of way of coming out of this with nothing. Stepping in, John Jaso. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. Blanks is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. So no runs on two hits, no errors, and one man left on. We've played eight full, all tied at one and one. Always a party in Miami Beach, not too far from us here at Marlins Park, set to begin the ninth inning in this one. Gregor Blanco steps in, Maybe working on a Giants. one for two game so Center far. Number seven, Gregor Blanco. The pitch. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Breaking ball and a good one on the corner to make it 0 2. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. Can't imagine guys like that too much. Yeah, not too much indeed. You start getting into the danger area when it's up and in that eye. Nope. And he'll try to entice him with the change up here, but it dips below the knees. It's 2 and 2. Four pitches. Fast, slow, fast, slow. EK, you thinking fastball here? It seems to fit the pattern, but you better not get too predictable out there. Guys will catch on quick. Now a check swing, but he does manage to hold up in time. Ball three. It's just so hard to lay off that slow changeup. He just did break that swing off in time. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. He spoils another one and will do it again. Swing and a liner, but foul. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there, as this isn't even close for ball four. Well, I'm going to tell you something, guys. Right that is a great at bat to start off an inning. You've got a guy out there on the mound burning through pitch after pitch, just trying to finish this guy off, and he never could do it. Carter Caps will get the assignment on the mound here as he'll enter with the runner at first and nobody out. Carter. Denard Spann comes to the plate in a key spot. Go ahead run at first with nobody out. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right hander is up and throwing. And a high strike there 0 and 1. Just no chance to pull the trigger on that pitch. That's on him way too fast. And that's a called strike at the letters. Though that looked high from here, it's 0-2 now. Yeah, and if you got him to look at the first pitch up there, why not throw it again? Also letter high. That puts him in a quick 0-2 hole.
And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Go ahead runs the board here at first with nobody out. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. I love this pitch right here. Just an elevated fastball with two strikes. Nothing much to it. He just says, this is just a good old country fastball. And he runs it right by him. Here's Joe Panic, and they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Ready with the 1 0 pitch, and that one misses upstairs 2 0. Nervous time now in that third base dugout. Heck, nervous time up here. My heart's racing, and I'm just watching this game. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. Blanco's running. Swing and a liner, but a foul ball. And the pitch on two and one to two and two now. You want to talk about a live arm? This guy's got one all right. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Now the question, do you send the guy on three and two with one out? You figure you're going to get something around the plate. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. Liner toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. They're applying a little pressure here for one of the first times tonight. That puts runners at the corners now with one away. So this becomes an opportunity they need to take advantage of. Matt Duffy settles in to hit in a critical moment in this one. Go ahead run at third with one away. This is a situation where you can't chase a ball in the dirt. Look for something up in the zone and get the ball in the air. In there, no balls and a strike. Pretty cool right there. You know, it's so important in a tough spot to get that first pitch strike over. And he's able to jump ahead. Set. Here's the 0-1. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. One and one. Here it comes. Runners breaking for the plate. Now a swing here as he flares this one over toward first. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And there are two away now. Well, he's going to wind up scoring the run, and this will be a fielder's choice and an RBI, but somebody had a miss sign somewhere because he never should have been swinging the bat with a runner charging down that third baseline. Buster Posey takes his turn now, looking to add some insurance to their lead in the form of that run standing out at second base. Yeah, a base hit right through the infield would probably do it, but you can bet those guys in the outfield are going to be coming up gunning if they get any chance at all. Come set, now the pitch. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. Hey. 
Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. A good high fastball. Maybe something to try and change the eye level there. And now I might anticipate another slider down in the zone, maybe even in the dirt. He's set. Now the pitch. Posey got caught out in front here as this is going to be in the seats of foul ball. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Giants will have to be content with just the one. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, and six coming up. San Francisco leads this one two to one. Santiago Casilla is on now, now to try to close Francisco. things down here in the ninth. Number 46. Santiago Casilla. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in to lead off the inning. Middle third of the lineup. Four, five, and six as they try to get something going. And this whole lineup's been pretty quiet all game long. Just the one run. That's it. Start him with a fastball that misses down and away for a ball. One and zero. And it's worth pointing out that they're burning through that bullpen here in Game One of this series. That could have an effect on the rest of this week. Casilla pauses. One zero on its way. Oh, much too tardy on the fastball. One and one. You don't think there's a little adrenaline flowing out there right now? Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Popped high in the air. Belt is there, and that is a big first out here to start inning number nine. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. Well, guys, he's one of the best in the league in that department right now. So he's had a really nice season so far out of the pen. We'll see if he can add to his total here. Digging in to try it again. Jonathan Lucroy. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. And this is taken outside for ball one. Shot weakly to the left. Two is left. Duffy throw on to first will be in time and the Marlins are now down to their final out of the game. Third baseman number 14 Martin Prado. Martin Prado will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. Well, and everyone knows he's slumping right now so we'll see if that got him going. Chop foul at the plate, strike one. And that misses downstairs for a ball, one and one. Well, that two seam fastball ran a little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off speed pitch. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. Tapper right back to the mound. 
Throw to first here is in time to record the final out, and the Giants have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Well, it was that run in the top of the ninth that turned out to be the game winner. They hold on here and win this one on the road by the slimmest of margins. This one, definitely a low scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score. And boys, probably a handful of deserving candidates for our top player of the game award. But what do you say we go ahead and give it to the man who shut the door out of the pen? Yeah, it's nice to have someone like this that you can call on to finish things out for you. And he came on to slam the door shut. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Eric Karros and Steve Lyons and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com. The Giants are victorious here, 2-1. to one. Good night from Miami.